This 725 horsepower Shelby Super Snake is both a first and a last all at the same time. Let's zing back to 2007 for a minute. Shelby had been back in the Mustang world for a while, and the 07 GT500 made tracks with a supercharged 5.4 V8 rated at 500 horsepower, built on a Ford assembly line, and sold at Ford dealers. But Las Vegas-based Shelby American was busy working up an improved version of the GT500, and that's the car we see here today. When it comes to certain cars, what it is can be just as important as when it was built or even who owned it. In the case of this 2007 GT500, this car served as the prototype for the Shelby Super Snake program, and it's also believed to be the last car Carroll sold out of his personal collection. Shelby cars have various levels of significance to collectors and enthusiasts. Many like them for the performance they offer, but if there is some personal connection to Carroll Shelby or other famous racers, well, the collector value heats up. And like any hot car, the fewer the better in the eyes of a collector. This one is the Shelby prototype for the 2007 Super Snake a tuned-up GT500 modified by Shelby American and sold in limited numbers. It retains the 5.4 V8, but a larger Kenny Bell supercharger boosts output to up to 750 horsepower, canceling the warranty in the process. But who's got time to worry about a warranty during three and a half second zero to 60 blasts? Now, I normally don't like whiners, but this supercharger song is music to our ears, especially when Borla plays the bass out back. The special front fascia and big mouthed carbon fiber hood make the regular 2007 Mustang GT look boring, and this one wears sinister black with satin black stripes. Opening the hood reveals the huge cold air intake feeding the Kenny Bell blower, again, all dressed in black. The top of the hood is vented, a familiar Shelby styling element, and hood pins keep the lid on the pot, and a special Super Snake Cobra hides in the grill, just waiting to strike. Twenty-inch Alcoa aluminum wheels conceal six-piston bare Shelby calipers and pizza pan-sized rotors with Pirelli 275s out back and 255s in front. And some interesting trivia, the original Super Stake GT500 was a Goodyear tire test car, and it also rode on rubber that was far too narrow for the power that it made. Quarter windows are blocked, just like the good old days. The rear view is clean and familiar, with dual exhaust poking from below the bumper cover, and the Shelby letters spaced out across the striped rear deck. The fuel door is badged as well, and a bolt-on rear spoiler flips the dirty air off the back of the car. The cockpit, or snake pit, I guess, keeps the driver in place with comfy leather seats and a Cobra-themed armrest. A trio of Shelby signature gauges monitors boost, fuel, and oil pressure, and is reminiscent of those installed on GT350s going all the way back to day one. And below that is the Shelby serial number, in this case, ending in 0001P. And that rhymes with prototype number one. Pretty cool. If power, performance, style, and the first of its kind isn't enough to make this car special, well, this car is also said to be perhaps the last car sold from Shelby's personal collection before he went to the big racetrack in the sky. And we like how the performance parts selected by Shelby American made this car one of the most powerful you could buy in 2007. Also, 
making this Shelby Super and more than just name alone. The Super Snake name dates back to a GT40 427 powered 67 GT500, which is kind of a mouthful. And then of course, Carroll had a twin turbocharged Shelby Cobra that he also called the Super Snake, kind of a personal project. So where does this car stack up against those two legends? Be interesting to see your feedback. And while you're commenting, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Muscle Car of the Week from the Brothers Collection.